YouTube, what it do, it's your boy, Stefan, aka Steph TV, man. <clears throat> um, I just finished my workout. I, you know, did, did my abs, cardio, uh, arms, back. Shoulders, you know, I, I did all that today. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow, um, I'm not gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna switch it up. Uh, right now, it's like almost two o'clock, man, in California. And you know, I was like, you know what? I got so much content. Like, I got so much Halo Infinite content. Um, I got videos I gotta post on there, which I made, but it's like. I have so much on my mind too, and, and you know, I was, I was um, always thinking, man. You know, I say this all the time; nobody cares. But I, I'm, I'm gonna say it over and over again. You know, what I'm saying, um, no, nobody, stop thinking that you know somebody is going to save you, bro. Like, no, nobody cares, man. You know, what I'm saying, you know. It, it's on you what you want to do in life, right? It, it's it's on you. Like, how determined do you want to be? You know, um, how willing you're going to go get it done, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have a YouTube channel. Everything is ready to get, you know, basically, you know, get that paper. And um, you know, I'm ready to do it. <clears throat> Out of subscribers, not fake. Uh, you know, I, I I am eligible on IG. I'm not trying to be braggadocious, but it's all gonna make sense. Um, I'm I'm pushing for shoots and modeling. I'm pushing to see if another agency is willing to accept me. I'm mean, gonna we'll just wait the options. I, I have a feeling that another one will, but you know. I have to do these things because nobody's going to do it for me, right? Nobody cares about it. Like, I told... I, this one thing I gotta stop doing sometimes. I, like, kinda announce stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I just gotta tell myself, yo, just, just announce it to people who might forget. But it's just, like, I gotta stop doing that. But it's, like, I don't worry about that. I tell myself every day, gotta put in the work you know what i'm saying i gotta put in these results g like like these magazine submissions like i was talking to some i was talking to this chick at um at a casting and she was like dang i never heard of anybody um you know self-submit and get like 11 magazine offers yeah because you know i'm, wi I'm willing to and determined to do that <clears throat> you know you gotta be willing to do that nobody's gonna like tap you like Hey, come on, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta post these videos, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get these magazines in. Um, you gotta do these things. Nobody's gonna do that. Like, I have to do that for me, right? And, and it's hard, bro, because you, you're gonna get a lot of, you know, no's in life. Um, definitely getting a lot of no's, but I'm getting enough no answers but it's just that you know you you gonna you gonna get hit and then life is gonna knock you down but you gotta learn to be like you know what let me get up and do this again you know what i'm saying like yesterday right i took off from work and from the gym because halo infinite was out and i was like oh crap i got so much content i gotta load up i have i have literally like I say all together I had literally like 30 40 videos and I got to upload all those plus the COD ones I did the day before. And it's like, you know, I got I had to tell myself, man, you know, do it. Do it. Post it. Post it. Post it. It's just literally two clicks. That's it. Just to post it. And and that's what I'm doing, man. As I as I'm talking to you, I'm uploading another video. Nobody cares, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nobody cares. Right? Even nobody's gonna come to save you, bro. Like you know, it's just nobody's gonna do it for you. It it's up to you 
how willing you going to go the extra mile? Like, yo, I'll be tired, bro. I'll be tired. Like, most nights, I stay up till 1, 2 in the morning. And then I got to get up at least by 5, maybe 6. I like to do it at 5 o'clock. And to at least get up, get something to eat, get to the gym, get the workout in. Because I got, I got an event coming up. <clears throat> and I got to, you know, put in the work. Every day, bro. Every day I gotta do these things. Nobody's gonna like tell me to do this. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta put that to the effort. And I'll be tired, bro, because I do this type of stuff. You know, day to day to day, month to month, year to year, and you know, cause I want better things for myself, man. Even though I gotta take care of these bills. I have to do these things. Right? Like I, I was I was even thinking like, man, um, it's really true that you know people are gonna laugh at you when you're doing different things. Like when I was back in um Long Island, New York, um people see me struggling with like doing two machines. Well, I, like back in my old job when I was an operator, I had to, you know, run down the machines, take the boxes out, put boxes back in, write the weights, um, you know, lift, throw capsules in there. You know, I, you know, I had to do all this stuff. And, and the people who, you know, were getting more money than me at the time, they, all they did was just laugh at me. You know what I'm saying? They just, they laugh like, uh, you know, that's what you get, black kid. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what you get. You know, and, and what I tell guys, man, is like, people going to do that to you, but you have to ignore it, bro. Like, you have to ignore it. Right? And what's crazy was, too, was like, you know, I didn't go out all every weekend either. Because, um, you know, I had to put the work in at the gym. You know, sometimes after work, I had to go to the gym. And, you know, I didn't want to, because I said to myself, I don't want to be like those guys. And there's no disrespect to anybody who does his work a regular job, hustle for a weekend. Yeah, I believe in having fun. Life is a balance. But at that time, too, it's still now. I told myself, I don't want to be like everybody else. Getting a paycheck to four to five hundred, almost six hundred dollars hustling for a weekend and I gotta do the same thing over and over again like I tell myself life has to change and you know my life is changing slowly right I, I'm not trying to be like you know I'm I'm rich I'm famous and this that and the third these are the steps I'm showing I'm showing the beginning steps of you know what everyone's going through and let me I don't want people hear me with stuff like this but Anyway, I, I had to tell myself, I got to do this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the time, it was like, yo, I got to grind on uh, Halo. Well, Twitch. This was earlier on. I got to grind on it. I didn't know how far it could take me, but it was just like, I have no choice. I got to do these things. Um, and then I took that same work ethic and turn it into acting. I got, dog, I got to read these acting scripts, even though I was still playing Halo 5 anyway. I was like, dog, I still got to read these acting scripts every day because Monday I got a, I got class. I want to make sure I do a good job in front of my coach. And then uh, modeling comes in now and it's like, dog, I got to, I still got to be in shape, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm up there in age, right? So, you know, I, you know, it's not that I'm in competition with everybody, but it's like, I got to put in the work as the next guy is putting in the work. And, and it's hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I met a person, I met this girl, she was working three jobs and going to college. You know, what's the difference between me and her? Because she was determined, you know what I'm saying? And, and you got to put that work in, that's that dedication work. And nobody's going to do it for you, fam. Like, you can watch these videos on, you know, mental health and self-motivation, but it's all on you, G. 
Um, your favorite YouTuber is not going to tap you on the shoulder or give you a comment and tell you keep going. He, he might tell you that, hey, just keep going for motivation, but it don't mean nothing if you're not doing it yourself, G. It ain't. Like, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you guys like this. And I got all this from like, the stuff is cold is not going to save you, bro. Um, he not going to damn sure save me. Stuff is cold is not going to save you. FedEx Fearless is not going to save you, bro. MJ ain't going to save you. AMS ain't going to save you. Dr. BOA is not going to save you. Style OG is not going to save you. Um, SBK Fitness is not going to save you, bro. It's just on you how you want to do it. You got to tell yourself the things I want to do and you got to go through the trials and tribulations or let's just say the steps to get you where you got to go to, G. It's going to get hard. Like right now, what I'm doing is hard, bro. You know, especially too, as a, as a male model, bro. Like, you know, I kind of want like, you know, these agencies to just give me a shot and opportunity. Some do, like maybe one or two. But do I feel like it's the right fit? Nah, I'm not too sure. But it's like, I got to get these content out. I got I to gotta keep pushing for this content every single day. You know what I'm saying? Like these... These photo shoots, man, you know, our you know, photographers, they want like 150, you know, 100 this. And it's like, dang, man, I ain't really got that like that. But I got to find a way to maneuver so I can still get it out and see which pictures they will take me in. It's hard work. But if you want something bad enough, the most high will provide. The most high will, will show you a way. Right. Even with these YouTube videos, you know what I'm saying? Um, one dude he commented, he's like, "Yo, you got over 100k, but you only putting out, you only getting like 20 vids here and there." Well, that means I gotta keep pushing, or I gotta figure out what's the problem is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna sit back and get mad and mope around about it. G, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Like, like Nate, like when I was in um Long Island, New York, I was like. Me and my father, we was like, we got to get up out of here. It's going to be rough, G. I knew it was going to be rough. I mean, in my mind, it don't really, it didn't seem rough, but it was rough, bro. You know, it's still rough today. Like I said, I'm not rich and famous, but it's like, you got to go through that. I still got to, I still got to do what I got to do, G. I still got to go to work every day. Bro, gas is crazy right now. Still got to get to work because the job don't care about you. Nobody's going to save you. Like, um, for example, another example, too. There's this chick who lives in the spot I am. All she do is just cry and get upset because of certain situations. I ain't trying to put a business out there. But nobody cares, G. No rich dude is going to, you know, pick you up and save you, bro. They not. Women think women think like that. As a man, you should not. You got to know, all right, I got to do what I have to do, no matter what. You have to wake up with that type of mindset, bro. Nobody's going to stop thinking that. Nobody's going to save you, man, which is very true. You can talk about it and complain. Sometimes, uh, yeah, like, yeah, I try to keep it in because nobody cares. Because everybody else got their own struggle. They all trying to make it. It's just on you. What what are you gonna do to do it? You gonna trip over rocks? You gonna trip over pebbles? You know what I'm saying? You gonna you, you know? Your parachute ain't gonna you know got, glide you to you know the other world, but it's gonna be worth it when two years come, five years, ten years come. Oh man, everything I worked hard for. That's what I'm gearing towards. I don't like to think about the future, but then again, I do like to think about the future. It's like um. Like the, the book I was recently uh, reading, um, uh, by Deepak Choker, um, Seven Spirituals. Ah, I forgot. It's in the back. It's the law of detachment. I gotta think of it and I gotta let it go, and then I gotta constantly move on. I gotta stay present in the moment. G. I got no choice. I gotta do that thing. Dog, I want nice whips. I want not, I want a nice car. I want a better car than what I got now. You know what I mean? Well, I love my car now. I love my baby. But I got to have the side, the passive income to do all this. 
right? I have the passive income to do all this. Um, I want a better body. I got to eat right. I got to go to the gym at least uh, four or five days, sometimes six days a week. What was it? Uh, last week, I went like almost seven days straight. What was it? Yeah, Halloween week, whatever. Yeah, like I went seven days straight, G. You know, that Saturday and Sunday, I had to do my yoga. I had to do yoga, bro. I got I to gotta put this work in, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got no choice. Life hits you. But you got you got to still do what you got to do. Don't just be like, oh, man, that's it. Sometimes it's good to give up on something that's not working. But if you're really passionate about it, yo, it's going to work for you, my G. Got to put those you got to put those grinding stages in, man. While while you still have anxiety and depression, I got it, bro. Like, yo, I be in my thoughts a lot. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's negative. But I gotta keep pushing. I'm not gonna sit there. Yeah. Life is hard. Gotta put the work in, G, because nobody cares. Especially, too, when you're a guy. Nobody cares. They laugh at you. I had a dream about that. I was crying. And everybody was just looking at me. I had to wake up. Oh, get back to get back to the grind. That's it. Don't be like these females, man. You know, life gets rough out here, but gotta stay in your zone. You gotta have resilience. I don't know what else to say, man. You know, that's really it, man. I'm out.